Hi everyone and welcome to this video. So today uh, it's gonna be a big video because I want to show you all of the blocks uh, that I made for wings. Okay, there's a lot. Uh, I don't plan on adding any other because uh, there's already enough. Uh, but yeah, so I'm gonna try to show you all of them. Uh, I will also put uh, some timestamps in the description in case you want to skip some parts. Okay, uh, but yeah, so let's start this. So I'm going to go in order with the creative menu. We have for uh, to start the chicken fence, chicken fence post, and also the chicken fence gate. Uh, chicken fence work this way. You see, uh, you can link them together. They can also be linked uh, with these, just like that. And there's also the chicken fence gate that you can put this way. Uh, the chicken fence can also be uh, linked to some other blocks, like the planks. And yeah, another thing that I really like about these is that um, when you have this, look, you can interact with the things that are on the other side. Okay, so you can uh, interact with the animals or uh, hit the monsters and all. Uh, another thing that I think that is really cool is that you can jump over but the animals cannot okay so uh, neither the monster so that's something that i really like to open the fence gate you just have to do this okay you tap on it um next we have the bug box the bug box is a block and also an entity at the same time okay first it's a block like this i'm gonna show it to you with um let's say a ladybug so when you tap, you see you have this, okay? When it's open, you can put a little bug inside. It's gonna close uh, automatically, okay? Otherwise, if there is no animal in it, you can uh, close it, open it at any time, okay? Uh, to open it again with the animal, just have to uh, interact. It's gonna break it, okay? So just like this. Um, we have the silk carpet. Now you may be wondering what's the difference with the normal carpet. Well, it's thinner, as you can see, it's like literally zero pixel. What is nice is that you can simply dye it. Uh, another thing that is great is that in opposition to the normal carpet, uh, there's no need to have something uh, below, okay? And yeah, you see, you can also go through uh, the carpet, which is something really great in my opinion. It can be used as a trap, okay? Um, now the designed carpet, you basically put the carpet, you have some carpet design, uh, you can change them and all, and you can also change the color uh, after, okay? Uh, if you didn't apply a design you can also change the color okay another thing that i made is that for example if the carpet is black when you apply the design it's gonna be the white design so this way you can see it okay um you also have uh, these which are the uh, the layer carpet and yeah, there is different ways to uh, interact with this okay because you can use a string and a shear so just to show you an example like this you see it removes a layer if you use strings again it's gonna add a layer but you can also uh, if you want to build fast you can use those kind of shears which are called the carpet shears okay uh, and when you add some of them in your uh, crafting it's gonna give you a uh, a higher level okay which means that if you interact it's gonna be you see the level two then level three level two again so you can really go and use this it's a lot faster if you want to place many of them uh, you can also apply any kind of dye and it's gonna change the color now there's the honeydew block honeydew block is really great if you want to prank your friend or you want to make a trap because look at this If you move on it, first of all, it's kind of sticky, so uh, it slows you down. But if you jump on it, you see, you pass through, okay? And you cannot, like, go 
uh, up again. So it's a good trap. Uh, as I say, you can use it against animals or monsters and stuff like this. Okay. The dream catcher. I'm gonna put this this way, and you see, it shows the particle and it starts shaking. Okay. As soon as it starts shaking, it means that it starts to cure. Okay. So uh, we'll come back later, and you'll see it's gonna be a villager. Okay. So the next thing on the list is the lemon lamp. Lemon lamp can be used to repel mosquitoes, okay? So for example, if you don't want to have little bitey stingy friends, you just need to put the lemon lamp, okay? The other thing that I find really nice is that you can put them to the ceiling like this, okay? And it's gonna change a little bit uh, the model, okay? Uh, for the honeydew block, uh, I mean the honeydewer, you can interact with some flowers, okay? Um, just like this, you see? And you get some honeydew, which can be used for the honeydew block and also to uh, breed some insects, such as the mosquitoes. If you are uh, a bit weird and you want to reproduce mosquitoes for any kind of reason, okay? The silk harvester that I placed right here, uh, when you have a silkworm cocoon that you get after killing a baby moth, which is a larva that is in a cocoon, you get this, okay? And you interact, you can put up to four at the same time, and it's gonna produce some silk, okay? Silk can be uh, placed in your crafting inventory like this, or uh, also on a crafting table or the sewing machine, and you're gonna get some string. It's a nice way to get it, and a bunch of these. Uh, on the sewing machine, as I say, it's really uh, simple. There's a lot of recipes that you can do, but one of them, for example, is the silk robe. There's gonna be more, but that's one of them, okay? I really like also the little animation. Now, for the, uh, for the birdhouse, uh, I'm gonna show you, it's not all the birds that go to sleep in it, okay? But for example, there's the chickadees and the sparrows. At some point, they end up going in it, okay? Uh, inside it. You see, like this, sometimes, they, for some reason, they are not able to uh, enter correctly in it, okay? Uh, it's a Minecraft bug, okay? It's a pathfinding issue. But yeah, they have the possibility, they have the capacity to go inside and uh, to actually like disappear and all, it's just that. Uh, you see, okay, they entered in it, okay? Uh, so yeah, sometimes it takes some time, but uh, they do it. And when it's gonna be morning again, boom, they get out of it and they do their life, okay? That's quite cute, I know. The egg carton. This is a good way to store your eggs, okay? Uh, place it on the floor, this way you can also uh, stack them to protect them. If they are not protected uh, and you fall on them, uh, it's gonna break the eggs, okay? And at some point, if you have many of these, uh, it is slow you down, as you can see, okay? If you fall down again on them, it's gonna break them and you can get some eggs, but it's also possible that you don't get anything, okay? Um, so this is for the egg carton. Um, the next block on our list are, okay, I'm going to show you these because I really like, the orchid. So orchids are some flower, but you can also get uh, some orchid trees, okay? So I made some right here, uh, as you can see. Oh, look at these birds. Uh, and yeah, you can make a lot of uh, combination, but how does it work? Well, it's quite simple. It's a kind of sapling, but it faces a direction that you want, okay? You can also place them on uh, logs, just like this, uh, and also on leaves, okay? They can also be placed on the moss block, like this. And when you put some bone meal, at some point, it makes a orchid uh, tree, just like this, okay? Um, Another thing that can be really nice to do is to uh, replace them with the jungle tree, uh, jungle wood, I mean. And after, you see, you can simply 
make this like that. Okay, this is uh, a way to make some great combination. And you see these are the same texture, so it makes a kind of branch, okay, if you want. Uh, otherwise, you can place them manually and it gives this kind of result, okay. I really like, as I say, you can place the arcade on them. Uh, and don't hesitate, you can go crazy if you want and really do these kind of um, combination like this, and yeah. Um, the next block on our list is the lemon block. So yeah, lemon block. And for this one, there's also a, uh, there is a sapling that I'm gonna show you. Oh wait, this is a sapling, but you also have uh, these, okay? So for example, you can have the lemon that are grown and also the lemon leaves. Uh, I forgot to show you, but the orchid uh, leaves, you can have them and place them manually also, okay? Um, so let's place a sapling. When you interact, it gives you this kind of little tree. When you interact again, it gives you this, okay? If you interact with those leaves, you will get at some point some lemons. And I fixed a little glitch. Now, if you interact with bone meal in your hand, it won't uh, harvest them anymore, okay? Uh, so if you just want to decorate, uh, that's the way. Otherwise, you tap, you get the lemon, okay? Uh, really simple, in my opinion. Uh, the next thing, I think it's the sunflower, yeah. Sunflower, one of my really favorite also. I really, really like them. I'm going to show you a bunch of interactions that you can do. First of all, you have to know that if you want to do this little uh, bird feeder, uh, <laughs> you will need uh, sun seeds, okay, sunflower seeds. So how does it work? Well, first of all, you place them and it faces the same direction as the vanilla uh, sunflowers, okay? So place them and then bone meal, just like this, you can control the height. Um, and then if you are in survival and you destroy this, you will have one sunflower seed, okay? Uh, oh yeah, by the way, forgot to tell you, but uh, the birds, they really like these, okay? The ones that eat grains. And that's why they uh, left their uh, bird feeder and they came here instead, okay? As you can see, uh, well, yeah. Uh, so it's another natural way to get those birds. Otherwise, if you uh, want to have more seeds, you see you interact with a paper and look what's happened. You put a bag on the head of the sunflower, just like in real life when you want to harvest them. When it's a completely dry, uh, tap again, you get the sunflower head, okay? You can also simply uh, tap or destroy it after if you want to remove the stem that is completely dry. And then simply hang them to a ceiling and you will, uh, you just have to wait a little bit after, okay? You see, when it's destroyed, it gives this, okay? Uh, and when you tap on it, you get the sunflower seeds again, okay? Uh, but a, a lot more. Okay, so this was for the sunflower. Now there's also the breadcrumbs can place them, some birds like the pigeons and all, they really like to go on them, so that's a way to attract them. Um, otherwise, there are the piment seeds. Piment seeds, uh, you will need some logs or some leaves. I'm going to show you a little example. You place them and you see they are going to grow Okay, uh, at some point. And yeah, I, I'm gonna show you a bit more uh, after. For now, I'm gonna let it grow. And let's go and see our little villager that we left here. You see, it's a villager now because of this little dream catcher. Okay, it started to grow. If you interact and it's green, um, it's gonna give you uh, some green pepper, okay, green piment. If it's yellow, of course, it's going to give you the yellow one, okay? 
The highest level is red, okay? So I'm gonna show you, it should, yeah, it started to uh, turn red. Otherwise, you can also interact with some bone meal if you want them to, uh, if you want them to grow uh, faster, as you can see. This one is a red, uh, yeah. So, and I think they are kind of pretty. Um, next block on our list, I think it's almost finished, honestly. Some of the other blocks uh, are kind of invisible uh, in creative and they just appear like naturally or uh, because of the birds, for example. If you have a woodpecker and it goes to a log, it's gonna peck it. Uh, also, when the birds uh, reproduce, uh, they can make a hole in the tree and also they can have a nest and all, okay? Uh, I'm gonna show you the nest. So, one, two, three, four. There are four colors, uh, four possible colors, okay? This is with the stick, this is with the wheat, the string, and the leaves. What's nest? Well, hello there. Uh, if you tap at some point, it will uh, just drop and it will break, okay? If there are wasps inside, they are going to get angry and to leave. Also, uh, I was forgetting, but uh, the breadcrumbs, uh, they can be used, for example, uh, if you uh, shear a um, rooster, uh, after they eat, uh, they, their um, silk will uh, grow again, okay, as you can see right here. Uh, and also, uh, you can place the orchid flower in a pot, uh, the sunflower shoot, and also the lemon sapling, you see, so it decorates. Um, there's also the chicken plate, which, uh, in fact, you can uh, interact to take the pieces. Uh, so you see you have the chicken wings, the chicken breast, and the chicken leg. Uh, and the lemon pie. I'm sorry for the glitch. Uh, I'm gonna have to fix that. It's new, because it was not uh, glitchy before. But anyway, when you tap, you can take uh, the lemon pie slice. So it's a bit like a Minecraft cake. But uh, what is good is that you can bring uh, the slice with you on your journey. So. Uh, if you see this uh, at some point, it's because uh, a bird came and pecked uh, the ground. And if you tap, uh, you may have an insect or a worm. There's also uh, this, which is a carved log. Uh, inside of it, there is usually a little bird or uh, mostly a baby. Um, and there's also the sunbird nest. Uh, which looks like this. There is always a baby sunbird inside, but uh, when it's uh, big enough, it leaves the nest and you can uh, also break it. Um, but yeah. So tell me in the comments if it was useful, if you, uh, if you liked it, and um, well, I will see you next time. So goodbye.